Cali Uchis is on the cruise Woo! show. Real 923. Let's go. Ow, ow, ow. What's up, prima? Hi, nice to What's meet going you guys. On? Thank you for having me. How you feeling? She's being good. shy right I'm now. Good. Good. I'm shy. I'm Why, sorry, guys. Are? I don't know. I was born that way. You're naturally, <laughs> you're naturally shy? Yeah, I'm a little bit shy. Congratulations. Red Moon Thank and Venus you. out now. All digital streaming platforms. Catch a vibe. I wish you roses. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Let me run Let me run through some numbers here really quick. Right? Oh, my so, gosh. Uh, total numbers. career streams, 11 billion streams. Okay. Let's get to it. <laughs> I know, right? Let me break some news to you. Here we okay. go. 12 million creations on TikTok. Uh, TikTok views over 44 billion. <laughs> YouTube views over 874 million. Bop, bop, bop. On Wish You Roses alone, over 38 million global streams. Oh, damn. Debuted on Billboard Hot 100. Debuted on Top 20. Uh, Billboard Hot 100 R&B songs. Whoa. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you could say cool as fuck, right? Right. Yeah. 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 And from... From being homeless, sleeping in a car to this, did Crazy. you ever dream that this would be this way? No, honestly, never in a million years. What kind of car was it? <laughs> uh, I'd rather not talk about that. Wow. <laughs> no free promo, no free promo. <laughs> the oh, the it's car like that now? They got to <laughs> cut the check? If it was, Maybe one day they come in that check. If it was a Toyota, they sponsor the show. So if it's a Toyota, please say <laughs> no, Toyota. No, it wasn't a Toyota. It wasn't a Toyota. <laughs> but like, what, you know, growing up, right, uh, I think as a teen, you mm -hmm. helped your father. He was managing buildings in Virginia, correct? Yeah. And DC. and he, you would put up drywall, you would paint bedrooms and do all of that and your dad would have your home open to family in Columbia to come and get their you know to, to land on their feet or get on their feet and you know make their way through this country so why did you have to sleep in a car <laughs> oh my gosh good question <laughs> I don't know you want to talk shit about your dad because I can talk shit about mine oh, no. <laughs> I don't really want to talk you know poorly about my family but um at the same time uh i guess to answer the question i would say i think that a lot of latin families they make sure that we grow up tough yeah. mm -hmm. and i think a lot of times you know because they know that the world is so hard they try to make sure that you know we we are as strong as we can be and i think a lot of times parents can end up doing stuff that's actually you know maybe not in their kids best interest with the intention you know with the intention they of making us harm. stronger right, yeah right, with course. the intention of making us stronger so you know um yeah it's all live you first generation yeah yeah mm. yeah do you so, feel like there's like a little bit more pressure because you are first generation um i think Maybe because for 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 them it's like they couldn't understand like why I didn't want to go to college because like they didn't have mm -hmm. the um, privilege of going to school in the United States or anything like that and they look at it as such a privilege mm -hmm. that they're like well why aren't you taking you know your studies as serious but for me I just always knew like that art was for me I always knew I didn't want to go to art school um, I felt personally I always felt that art school was pretentious and it wasn't like something that I wanted to do I wanted mm -hmm. to I'm more of like a self top person mm -hmm. I wanted to just get myself you know in the actual field working making music videos for people making art for people making music learning about my craft building you know my uh my my fan base and mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't want to like go to school to have somebody like tell me what art is and tell yeah. me you know how to whatever so that wasn't for me you know mm -hmm. it might be for other people but it wasn't for me so I think it was hard for them to just understand I think it was hard for my family to understand why um I why you weren't wanted, taking the more traditional route yeah exactly why I wanted to become an artist and mm -hmm. um you become the black sheep of the family when you want to do something different right yeah I think I've always I've always felt kind of like the black sheep of the family um but even that was even before I was making music, so that's why I, that's why I was that's why I was. Yeah, no, most definitely. That's why, I, that's, that's why I always felt like, oh, you know, because I obviously like going into it, you know, you're putting yourself out there to, you know, a lot of criticism and like, you know, really harsh public eye, and I felt like I'm gonna be able to do it because I felt like, oh well, I've always. I felt like my whole life since I was born, I've always had people like talking shit to me, like my own family. So I felt like I'll be able to have Same. strangers. I'll be able to have strangers talk shit on me. Family. What do I care about a bunch of kids talking shit about me? Like yeah. my own parents was doing it to me since right, I was right. born. Like y'all can't hurt me. There's, yeah, there's nothing that someone can say in the comment section that my dad didn't already say. Right? Like you can't hurt my feelings. Yeah. Too. That that's hilarious. I grew up hearing fail. You know what I mean? So it doesn't bother yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, all good. Same. Fail, go to the, all that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. It's all same love, shit. man. Yeah. Do you have any nicknames growing up? Um, well, no, is, is Carluchis, yeah, Carluchis, Carlota, um, 
That was pretty much it. Carlucci's was like the main one. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mine was pendejo. <laughs> <laughs> Imbecil <all> for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Animal. Red that moon. Po- that, that positive self-talk. <laughs> 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 I know, right? Hey, they were, they were okay. helping you guys <laughs> up to be kings. <laughs> King shit. Red moon in Venus. Uh, again, it's out now. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you break down that title? I see the red, and I know you yeah. get a lot of love from West Coast and L.A. artists. You know what I mean? Whoa, so whoa, we, whoa. So we flamed up. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> we flamed up. You took it down. A whole, a whole different route. Yeah, right, right, right. She right. positive. Okay, no, I hope yeah. you checked in. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you checked in, Kelly. <laughs> no, so no, really, all it was about was um, I'm a cancer. I'm very like run by the moon. Ooh. I believe in all that shit. The moon and the stars. Oh, and, she, she tapped in. I'm she tapped in. Astrology, girl. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, not Aries. too much. Nice to meet you. Okay, I'm nice leave to meet you. Not too much, but you know, I, I always felt very called to my star sign, and um, I always felt very called to the moon and I felt like it was very representative of the album so the album is very emotional it's very guided by love sure. all the different dimensions of love so Venus it felt obvious it's the you know planet of love and then mm. Red Moon it more so felt like thematically what encapsulated the entire feeling for me mm-hmm. the Red Moon with songs like I Wish You Roses and Fantasy with Don Tolliver Deserve Me with Summer Walker is this more of a healing album for you is it fair to categorize that I would say so, yeah. I think so. Mm-hmm. What you healing from? Who hurt you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to know. Pretty much. Show me this the world, the world, the the world, I told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's deep rooted. <laughs> from your dad, isn't it? Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> hey, congrats, congrats on being sober. Thank yes. you. Thank that's, you so that's much. Major. That's major. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No offense to anybody you know on their own alcoholic journey. Like, it's okay. You know. No, I, feel <laughs> I like, don't judge. I feel like we need to just normalize, like you know, people if they don't want if they don't want to drink, then their friends need to accept that, like, hey, yeah, yeah I, I don't absolutely need that right don't now. judge. But like being that, like I am part of like nightlife a lot of times, and sure. I'm out around people that's drinking. Like it is always so. Even just, I had to realize, like, really, the whole reason I was drinking in the first place was because it was always around me, and because people was always putting it in my face. Of course, mm-hmm. of course, yeah. and that was a big part of what made me like not want to drink anymore. We would have had it in your face if you were <laughs> on the journey. You know, just always yeah. being like, oh, you know, to connect, to bond, you feel like you have to take Absolutely. shots together. To yeah. have fun, you feel like you have to be fucked up. Plus, it's a Latino thing, too. You yeah, know what I mean? it it's is like very a, much in our health. culture. Like, yeah. Yeah. Since I was super young, we were always drinking. And, um, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I got, right. yeah, I got alcohol poisoning when I was, like, 17. So, I got, after that, my body kind of just, like, rejected it, but... I don't like I said like I don't judge other people mm-hmm. and I'm I mean after just... quarantine aren't we all recovering yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah mm-hmm. is exactly. it a permanent ban though or like do you feel like no me? like that's that's my personal like honestly my my views they change all the time like I'm so just like the moon like I have all my different phases so it's like for me it's like nothing that I'm I'm very expressive I love to express myself that's like what gives my life purpose and meaning that's why I'm an artist mm-hmm. so um yeah, I might not always, I might not feel the same way in like a month or two. Who knows? Yes. Like, if y'all see me drinking some champagne, like, don't. We'll mind our business. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. mind our business. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, for but now, I'm on this. It's been 10 months, but you know. I'm yeah, congrats yeah. on that. Beautiful. Thank you. Huge. What mm-hmm. happens when, a, when the full moon's out? Mm-hmm. What kind of color you know, do we get? Oh. <laughs> 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 that's um, right. <laughs> no, yeah, that's what I'm on right now. I just feel like I don't need anything to have a good time. Like, Absolutely. I can't have a good time on my own. I don't need that. Oh, so man, I amazing. hope we get there one day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, seriously, it's a journey. No, yeah, it most definitely sure. is. Is there a Sade influence? Most definitely. Yeah. I love Sade. I think she's a legend. Me too. You know, Every man icon. feels like they're like she's singing to them directly. <laughs> she's just, yeah, she has that. She has. She's one of those timeless artists that can connect with every generation and um, I think that every artist should be inspired by something like that. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. Are you bringing Red Moon and Venus to Coachella? Coachella, absolutely. What's yeah. the stage design like? I'm not gonna give away too much ah. about the stage design, but I will say it'll be red. I, yeah, I will say it's gonna I, be a moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Venus. gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> right, right, right. I'm gonna follow up really soon with my Latin album, and so I am That's definitely right. incorporating like that other, you know, because obviously Red Moon and Venus is more like, you know, get your candles, you know, get in the bath, feel yourself, or like, you know, have a good night with your girl, whatever. But the next album is a bit more like a beat mm-hmm. and so I am incorporating that into Coachella so, so there will be a mm-hmm. new song as well at Coachella let's go so yeah. do you feel that speaking Spanglish has been kind of like a blessing in disguise in that sense where you're able to kind of you know put the, the album out you have now and then follow up with something more upbeat 
Yeah, I mean, looking at the bigger picture, I think that being being bilingual has definitely, like, definitely assisted me. Like, not only as a writer, not only as an artist, but mm -hmm. to be able to connect to... Yep. Um, a whole different audience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As many people as I've been able a to connect to. A forgotten generation, so would say. Yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think it's very important. I think at one point there's going to be a bilingual category at the Grammys. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. That would be amazing. I, I, be I think so. Uh, but you, you mentioned you got a Latin project coming out. Yeah. Features on that. Can we expect Fe Fercho? Who's who's on? I the actually team? haven't decided what features I want yet, so I'm still working on that. There's still room, Leche. There's still room. Yeah, let, right, yeah. exactly. Let Leche, let me know. I'm just I, as a fan of the music, as uh -huh. a, a, the Latin movement. I, I just I was curious. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can't say nothing. No names. Soon come, soon come. Leche does music, and he's trying to be part of the project. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Soon come, soon come. All right. So you can't force sign. Yeah, that's why he dressed up and combed his hair. For you, he did that for you. Don't usually comb. Don't no. usually come there. No, nah, you know, nah, chill out. He usually comes from straight from the gym downstairs up here to do the show. So. <laughs> well, I have somewhere to be afterwards, so time management. Right, Successful right, right. people exactly. got to time manage. Right, exactly. right. <coughs> Bullshit. Sorry. <laughs> it's my allergies. It's my <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Um, <laughs> what do butterflies and roses symbolize in the music video for you? Because me, personally, I have a tattoo for yeah. butterflies. I mean, I know what they mean for me, but what do they mean for you? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think Butterflies is just always, this was such a feminine project, and I feel like, you know, that's, for me, that's the epitome of, like, girly, like, the little butterfly. Um, and then, obviously, the transformative quality of the butterfly is definitely something, you know, mm -hmm. symbolic as mm -hmm. well. Do you have your Game Boy with you? Your Game Boy? Not here, no. no? It's at my house, though. <laughs> that's such a, like, a retro... Retro thing, but you're a '90s kid, so I'm it makes big sense. on nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What color is the Game Boy? Is it's it gray. Game Boy color or regular Game Boy? It's a, it's <laughs> the a, black and white. It's the it's just gray, and the little thing is green. The screen is green. <laughs> I actually want another one because the the screen doesn't light up, and I do want one that lights up. I can't play it at night. So <laughs> dark. You don't have the little lamp on the side that connects. What? You, the, don't they have like the little lamps yeah, that the connect on the side? Connected. Oh, okay. I might have to get one of those. That's, that's yeah. extra. That's accessories and all that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My brother and I used to fight for over the Game Boy. Yeah. You're an only child, right? So you didn't. No, no. no? I have three brothers and one sister. Oh, yeah. Okay. Internet I, life. I grew, up, I grew up in a full house, like always. I was going to say yeah. you're Latina. There had to have been. Yeah, all it was sorts always a full house. Yeah. yeah. Latinos <laughs> don't pull out. I said, what? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's true. Latinos don't pull out. <laughs> yeah. My dad has never worn a condom. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. In his life, it's insane. <laughs> how did the relationship between you and Tyler uh, originate? How, how did that come about? Yeah, he just wrote me and he told me he was a big fan. He loved. Um, a lot of like my when I first started making music I was very rooted in like oldies yeah. and he loved a lot of that he loved my harmonies and the melodies that I was coming up with so he just wanted to get in the studio so the next time I came to LA we just got in the studio and yeah that's dope and then we go on tour and yeah, I mean, tour happened way later, but yeah. For sure, for sure. We just continued, like, he's just a genuine, he's a genuine person. Like, he never, when you're a new artist, there's a lot of people trying to reach out to you to, like, sign your publishing or sign you or become management or, you know, get they want something out of you. And he was just one of those people that just genuinely, like, just wanted to work and didn't want anything else from me. That's you know what amazing. I'm saying? Like, yeah, just a real friend. Yeah, cause sometimes I'm sure you get hit up and there's like, yo, let's work. And that's not necessarily yeah. work. It's Yeah, yeah, something people else. always have ulterior motives. So he's just one of those people that's very, like, straightforward and mm -hmm. genuine with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I respect that because I'm the same way. I'm, I'm very much like, what you see is what you get. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's so these roses are for you. Yeah, thank you. Man, we appreciate you. Congratulations. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so for much. For real. I wish you roses as a single. Run up the streams, man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Such a great song. And then you end the album with Happy Now. Yeah. As, which is a statement, I believe. You know, I had to end it with that happiness over everything, peace of mind. Word. I tried to wash it away. Like I tried to start and end the album with Sounds of Nature. Nature really inspires mm -hmm. a lot of my music. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was nature that was nature <laughs> yeah 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 hello um, so so yeah I felt like it was important to end it on that on that positive note yeah it's, it's a statement it says okay I'm happy now peace yeah mm -hmm. on to the next what's up Jackie you're known to only like uh, take a few minutes to write tracks how yeah. long did it take you to write I Wish You Roses oh I Wish You Roses it was really that actually was a song that I came a lot of these songs I say that water inspired them because a lot of them were written in the shower okay. like I would be in the shower taking a shower and all of a sudden I would just get like literally mm -hmm. that idea to a melody <laughs> that idea to a song yeah. right. I would just cry them out grab my phone actually one of my phones broke because I water damaged uh, <laughs> because you can't of, take it in the shower yeah no you can but it was it was cracked so that oh, was happening oh, okay. so um <laughs> 
so anyway, I just take my phone, write a vo- make a voice memo, mm-hmm. and then later, you know, send it to who I think, you know, I should work on the production with, whatever. That was how a lot of a lot of the songs came to be. So that one was really quick, actually. Mm-hmm. Silly yeah. question: How long are your showers? <clears throat> It depends. Mine are an hour. I take about an hour. It depends how long my day was. Right, right, exactly. It's either like a therapeutic shower or just like I need to get out really quick. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, yeah, that's that that explains my hour shower. I mean they're crying. (laughs) No, I do. Yeah, Kelly, you don't care. It's not I feel like I feel like you guys need to talk to him. (laughs) He needs somebody he needs somebody to check in. (laughs) I'm noticing a couple of signs. No, and I feel like with women too, like we have like, you know, our hair wash day showers, we have like our shaving showers, we have like four different types of showers no yeah most definitely <laughs> that's most true best. that is so true what's up Ledger? you you mentioned check in uh who do you check in on Ooh, good question and um, who checks in on you Ooh, no just <laughs> <laughs> Not enough no because i mean you know sometimes people like they see you they, they they think you got it all so they don't even bother no, you know? yeah no it's they, so they don't true. they think oh her life's perfect yeah mm. no but definitely. yeah who checks in on you and who do you check on check um on. i check in i check in on my family members i check in on my friends from back home um, I I talk to I, I try like make a phone call every once in a while, do a FaceTime every once in a while. Like you know, if I'm if I'm about to cook or I'm about to just do, I'll just call somebody to check in, whatever. That's right. You going old school? Yeah, <laughs> I love to just talk on the phone with you know my homegirls or family members and just like do a catch up real quick when I can. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you enjoy cheese man? Like family cheese man? Cheese man? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah, I'll be like, girl, you would not believe what Thea texted me the other day. <laughs> Right with She'll women. Like, yeah, she was talking shit about you on Facebook the other day. <laughs> <laughs> not the yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Not on Facebook. And then, and then no. Facebook. No, Facebook's Facebook. for the family. At this point, Facebook's for the family. Yeah, I love my Thea, but yeah. Um, right, it's, right, right. It's just you know we just all love to. We all we love each the other. The biggest cheese starts with girl or mm. bitch. Girl, right, bitch. <laughs> right, 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 right. For real, <laughs> Caliuchis is here. Red Moon and Venus out now. I wish you roses is a single and it's mm-hmm. fire. Great body of work. You put your love and your heart into it, and that's extremely important for you um, or to you. Where do you write? Is it paper still? Is it on the phone? Is it is it voice notes? Yeah, it's mostly voice notes and paper. I love paper and pen, just probably because what I told you, like I'm big on nostalgia. It just gives me that feeling of actually being able to bring it into the world. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I feel like notes is good because I have lost papers before or like before I was I was writing in the bath one time, <laughs> everything got wet. <laughs> it was bad for me. Pause. Uh-huh. Um, okay. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I mean, the phone is definitely convenient in that in that sense. Absolutely, like, you know, yeah. it's not gonna get ruined and until you know, it's, it's cracked. Be yeah, and then you take it right. Into, can, yeah. can you no. be vulnerable for a minute and play the last voice note that you have on your phone that that where you ri- wrote a song? No. I mean, no. there's gotta be something. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's gotta be something no. that you're humming. For the fans, for the fans, for the fans. Not vulnerable. For the fans. For the fans. Not vulnerable. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me see what I got in here. Letcha, did you ask yeah. her if she could be vulnerable? Yeah, I mean, I, I figured. Sure, yeah. It you is know, a very it's, vulnerable it's, it's, place. It's art, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, you guys, do, if you look at my voice notes, like my voice notes literally don't end. Oh, jeez. Oh, like, do you label them? You're or a hit machine, G. Untitled? Look at my voice notes. Like, they don't end. So, yeah, I label them. Otherwise, that we would just, I would just never. Play a random one. Just, just play random, random one. Two G. seconds. Two seconds. Come on. <laughs> You guys, that's like asking me to You're read my, being? to open my diary and read my diary right ah, now. Ah, I got it. Do you I got have it. a diary? That's why I, that's I don't why have I said a diary. Actually, well, I do have a diary, but I stopped writing it. Can uh, you give us an entry from your I diary? I was writing, <laughs> right? That's basically what y'all want. Yeah, I was writing in a diary on tour, but I kind of stopped. Mm. Wow. I want to start again. All right. Well, let's be more intrusive. Uh, what's your credit yeah. score? <laughs> <laughs> I have a great credit score. Do you, you really want to talk about it? I have a great credit score. That's right. I've yeah. always been really good about my savings. Thank you. I've always been. I always encourage my fans. I'm like, you guys, save your money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Save your coins up. And um, yeah, I've always, I've always been. I like to consider myself like the opposite of wasteful. I always try to find the most resourceful mm. alternative. To Are you frugal? I've, I would like to say that Do I you have, buy Fabuloso? Yeah. <laughs> Do we? They had a recall. You yeah, you might want to check the comments. Um, <laughs> going, going back to the voice notes, um, and, and and obviously you have a lot of uh, material on your phone. At this place, at this point of your career, do you do you write for other artists? Are you open to that? Um, hmm, is is the, you know I have before like. Hmm, kind of tried to get into like I like I was open to it like somebody asked me yeah. to come write for them 
recently and uh, I really respect her and I came to the session whatever but afterwards I was just like damn I want this song for myself (laughs) 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 so it didn't work out because it's just it's just not for me it's just not for me because my songs are so personal and I just feel like they they aren't for anybody else but if for instance it was like something that I'm I know that I never want to put out and um, but that was even a case. Actually, somebody told me they were like, "Oh, we played this record for so and so. She really loves it." And I'm like, "Who told you to play that record for her?" Like, you know, what I'm saying? like I don't, I didn't. They're like, "Oh, well, you said you didn't want to use it, so we were thinking, you know, maybe we could at least get some money." You yeah, know? yeah, so for sure. But she, still, she, she I didn't wants tell it. Tell you to play it. Yeah, for she wants it exactly. And I'm <laughs> like, at, um, at yeah, the same time, it's also like you're feel like I don't know. It may feel like you're somebody else is trying to tell your story because, like you it's said, it's a little your, personal. Yeah, for me. your songs are personal. Yeah, it's very personal for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so. It hasn't worked out for me. I don't. I don't know. Maybe in the future. Sure. Maybe someday. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Listen, we're all toxic, right? Do you have a toxic trait that you can talk about? <laughs> my toxic trait. Mm, what's my toxic trait? Pick one. <laughs> Pick one. Playing with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> what is my toxic trait? We all have them. We all have them. We definitely do. My toxic trait. Do I have? I'm perfect, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your toxic trait. No, I think about it. Right then, I think. It's your rollout week, so yeah. we're gonna let it slide. Okay. Oh no, you I have a toxic trait. Oh, my toxic trait. No, my toxic trait is that I love to express myself because, like, as an artist, people just want you to shut the fuck up. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just want you to sit there, look pretty, and make music. So, um, my toxic trait is that I love to express myself. That's mm. my toxic trait. So you don't know when you're like, you just if you're gonna say, you're gonna say it. Yeah. No, it's like I will go days not wanting to say anything and not wanting to be online and not wanting to, like be out there at all and then randomly I would like go on a rant <laughs> like out of nowhere and I'm like where did that come from that's a Latina know, trait not yeah. necessarily a toxic trait <laughs> right really, really it feels toxic I don't know yeah, yeah. Yeah. my, team's, my team said it's toxic so I don't know <laughs> <laughs> anytime someone asks me that I'm just saying my toxic trait is up. my toxic trait is I'm um, Latina that's what it is oh my god <laughs> I'm alive that's my yeah. toxic trait my to- yeah exactly <laughs> we, we usually ask rappers this like how much for a verse but how much for a verse for Kali in, in, in a, or a hook no I don't charge for verses um, I don't charge for features yeah if i do a feature for somebody it's because i genuinely fuck with you like i'm not jumping on a record just because like it's high or because an artist like wants to give me a bag i'm I'm not i'm not gonna get on it if i don't like it so yeah Mm -hmm. i just jump on something because i really fuck with it or because i fuck with artists that's right have they offered of course they have offered what's the most oh my god come on (laughs) boo Mm, I don't like to talk. I don't like to talk numbers. Oh, <laughs> you're being like that. <laughs> She's financially <laughs> responsible, bro. Like <laughs> yeah, but you know, you, know uh, you learn a lot about yourself when you write music, when you perform music, right? When you put out music, but when you go on tour, you really learn a lot about yourself. From what I understand, right? Um, just talking to other artists and going on tour with someone like Tyler the Creator, there's got to be things that you learn from him. You learn about yourself as well. I learned. Oh well, it was my first stadium tour. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. I went to stadiums with Lana Del Rey. Mm -hmm. (laughs) No big deal. (laughs) (laughs) But that's why it was totally different because that was like, she had a backdrop in front of her production and so I had like this much stage to work with. (laughs) I was dancing in front of like... You had a box. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was totally different because this was my first time having like a production, dancers in a stadium. The entire stage Mm -hmm. to yourself. Yeah, I would say I learned... I don't... Because I've been touring for so long at this point, I feel like I already knew everything. That's right. In the mm-hmm. sense of like, you know, I feel like the most important thing is like self-preservation, not spreading yourself too thin, mm-hmm. not burning yourself out is so important on mm-hmm. tour because it's so easy to just end up like getting sick, mm-hmm. getting, you know, exhausted. Um, so yeah, just, I guess that's that's the most important lesson of tour is self-preservation. For so sure. you, you're mindful with what you put in your body, you work out, or what do you do at, on tour? You know what? I'm horrible at working out. I'm getting a trainer on Tuesday. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start like <laughs> male or female? A woman. A woman. Course. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say. No, I can't have a male trainer. That's just a little sketchy. But um, <laughs> I think that I know when I get a massage, I need a woman's touch. I don't. I don't yeah, <laughs> definitely like woman's masseuse for me, woman's trainer for me, woman everything for that's me. That's right. That's right. So is that because you're in a relationship? Um, is it like respect? Is it a respect thing? Yeah, I definitely respect my, I would definitely always keep in mind to respect my relationship. But even if I wasn't in a relationship, um, I think, you know, I had a, a guy trainer one time before and I felt like there was a couple times that he said things that I was like, mm, 
just gave off weird energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, I get there you. Was a couple he was being times creepy. Was like, he was trying to fuck. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what he had going on with his other clients. So yeah, like. Yeah. It can get weird. Yeah, you wasn't the one. Don't try. Yeah, to. Well, I wasn't the one exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the weirdness. So. I feel it. I feel it. So you're gonna get right starting. What you said Tuesday. 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 I'm gonna start with my trainer. I'm gonna start really working out. Let's see what happens. Any advice, Letcha? Letcha just lost 150 pounds. Wow. I would say uh, not like overnight. I mean, it mm-hmm. took in a, a year. While. Congratulations. In a year. Thank That's you. a lot. Um, I mean, just always prioritize I think the greatest form of self love is prioritizing your health so Most def. I, I think uh, I think you're on the right track and I mean you improve the quality of living while you're here because when it's yeah. your time it's your time yeah. pero a darle sabes yeah. but so you were also going through different stages mentally of course during the, your weight loss journey mm-hmm. right and mm-hmm. you have to almost you gotta psych yourself you gotta hang on to yourself oh yeah yeah, those yeah. Moments. For, sure. for sure for sure mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just, I mean, at that day, it's always worth it, and you'll feel good. It's like that instant gratification after work, like, oh, I did it, you know? And, and it'll, You never uh, regret it, right, working out? You never, never. But, yeah, I wish you uh, luck on, Thank you. on Tuesday, on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Hope you're Thank not winded you. in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. I've been, I've been taking my, um, my eating habits more seriously this year, for sure. That's one thing that I definitely changed. Yeah, and, and no uh, alcohol intake works as well. Man. Uh, that's gonna yeah, help. Yeah, yeah, the alcohol definitely. All that sugar. You ain't gonna have the munchies no more. I've man. been trying. Yeah, trying to just cut back on the sugar, cut back on the processed mm-hmm. food, and. What's a good cheat meal? Uh, meal though. Like cheat, a good meal? cheat meal. Yeah. Mm. Is it McDonald's? Is it Taco Bell? Is my it cheat meal would. Mm, my cheat meal. I can't say my cheat meal. Why? Because they're, because they're, I shouldn't support them, but I do. I can't stop eating them. It's Chick Fil A's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why can't you support Chick Fil A? What I mean, other reasons? They, other what reasons. I miss? I'll yeah. tell you after. It's not a good. It's, it's not a good business. It? Yeah, it's not a good business to support, but. Um, okay. But, but the food damn, good though. But damn, that sandwich. But, but the damn, but the waffle fries. fries. <laughs> yeah. Is it different? Nah, no, for sure. <laughs> the waffle fries. Um, no, most definitely, but I haven't I haven't eaten it in a long time, so. That's right. That's How about right. bandejita paisa? Bandeja paisa. I actually try not to eat meat. I'm not like big on the uh, the pork. I don't eat pork. I haven't eaten pork. Who's wow. so uh, pescatarian? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, I haven't eaten pork in forever. Um, yeah, I try to do mostly fish. Um, when I can, I love chicken though. I love chicken. So Good for much. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah most Caliuchis. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus. Download the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out the Crew Show podcast.